Hey guys, me here, and I am filming one more K-pop help video right now. Um, so I've gotten a lot of questions, especially on my ranking videos and my top boy groups and top girl groups, of how I kind of rank my groups, and so I thought that this would be an okay thing to do. I didn't use to rank my groups, actually. It was only um, when I started really collecting a few years ago, I was like, well, I need to know I need to prioritize, so I need to know my priority. I thought that I would just make this little video. I don't know how long it's going to be about how I rank for my groups. So the number one thing that's most important to me when it comes to choosing who my favorite groups are is music. Definitely. Because if I don't like your music, then it's going to be really, really difficult for you to be in my top 10. Because why would I... I don't even know, like, learn names of groups who music I don't like, and if I, like, don't really care for the music too much, I just don't end up caring for anything else too much, you know what I mean? Like, I'll say I love their personalities, like, it could totally be a thing where I love their personalities, but their music is not good for me, and I'll just be like, well, that sucks, I'll just cheer about, I'll just cheer them from afar, and maybe if they release a new song in the future that I really, really like, then I will put them in my top group. So, Music has always been number one for me, and that's the reason that Infinite and Super Junior are number one, because I always enjoy their music, even though I've never... I always feel when I do, like, the, the end of the year videos, um, I did this last year, and I thought about this this year, too. If I do Infinite or Super Junior for, like, because After School hasn't had an album in a couple of years, um, if Infinite or Super Junior release an album, I can't be like, this is my favorite album, because obviously when these albums come out... I listen to them for a very long time. The second most important thing, if you want to be my favorite group, is personalities. And it's one of those things where I'm, when I'm ranking a new group, um, I did this when Uptension debuted, I couldn't rank them until I heard their music. I couldn't rank twice until I heard their music because without the music it's really important. But another thing is I had seen variety stuff from twice well, 16, and from, you know, Monster X and, um, Uptension in their shows before they debuted, and 17. Personality is very, very important to me. It's very, very important to me. Um, if there is a member that I have issues with, there's no way for them to be my top group. I don't care how much I love their music. If I have issues with a member, I, I can't put them as my top group, and that's why a few groups have, like, gone down on my list is because I'll start having issues with the members and then when I see the music video it's all I can think about is wow I like can't stand this member like I can't I've never gone out of my way to be like this member sucks and this member it's all this member's fault the reason I don't like this group anymore but um even if the group has like one of my favorite biases in it say like we'll take a group that I love everybody in so let's say Vix somebody in Vix starts bothering me but I love every member of Vix, I do. If somebody in Vix starts bothering me, and I have Hyuk and Huck in there, I'm like, I don't know, what, like, I'm very conflicted. I'm like, I can't keep this group as one of my top groups, no matter how much I love Hyuk and Hakyun, and everybody, really, but um, as much as I love those groups, I, the other members, I, this member, just like, I can't stand them. I can't. And when I'm learning a group, if I'm watching a variety show, and I just, this member annoys me, I'm like, you're annoying. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't deal with it. And it's one of those things where, like, I'll just keep thinking about it and it just won't feel right for me to be like, oh, I love you, because I don't. I don't. And it's really hard, um, if that ever starts happening in one of my top, top groups, which it's never happened in Super Junior, it's never happened in Infinite, that's why they're my biases. I love every single member of both groups, like, very much, and I talk about other members more than I talk about my biases in these groups, so, like, you know. The other night I was thinking about how excited I am to see Myung Soo live <laughs> when I see Infinite, and I was like, I'm so excited to see Myung Soo in person, and I was like, Myung Soo's not even my bias, he's not even my bias ruiner, it's that one, and I, like, what? Another thing that I want to say isn't important, but it's definitely played a role before, is what company they're from, um, especially if I like their someday groups. I'm really interested in Vix's little sister group. I don't know anything about them, but I'm interested in them because I like the way Jellyfish promotes Vix, so I think I would like the way that they promote um, them. So it's hard for me to be, you know, which 
companies I'm not really a fan of. I don't need to go in with companies I'm not a fan of. But when they're like, oh, we're releasing this new group, I'm like, okay, I'll listen to it. I'll check out something from them, some little backstage interview or something from them. I've had a very weird relationship with JYP for the past few years, and this year they really, really impressed me, so they regained my trust. But um, when they released information on the 16 show, I was like, do I even want to bother? Am, am I even going to care for this group, really? Am I even going to like this group? Or if I know they're a company where they're just going to look at one member and push that one member, um, it it's hard for me to really like that group. So that's really important to me as well. And then another thing that's really important that I think kind of helps me rank sometimes if I'm like, oh, I don't know, but I'm, I really am bad at ranking, just to let you know. Like, I know I've just done this entire video, but I'm really bad at ranking groups and I have a lot of ties because I just like too many groups. The relationship with the members is very important to me. If they seem like co-workers, they seem like co-workers. If they seem like friends, like they've gone through literally everything together, um, it's one of those things that like attracts me more. I think I think that's like that for a lot of people. I don't think a lot of people really enjoy groups that have a co-worker kind of relationship were just thrown together last minute and it's very rare to see that in K-pop groups. Um, especially now like in Mamamoo, two of the members of Mamamoo were friends before they debuted and they debuted in the same group together. They just have been friends for a while and I think that that relationship makes Mamamoo that much more better and that's one of the reasons that I really like them is because well their music is amazing and the personalities of the girls are amazing. Solar is so beautiful. Looks aren't a huge thing for me but like they're kind of a big thing for me. Um, but there's different kinds of beauty. There's the you're just beautiful by yourself like your model status basically like like that one um, and then there's like you're so attractive when you have a microphone in your hand. Somebody said that in some show that I was watching. They were like, I'm not handsome, but when I have a microphone in my hand, I'm really handsome. Oh, I think it was Shotgun of No Mercy said that. And I was like, that's true though, because like off stage, I wouldn't pick you out of the group and be like, oh, he's, he's the most handsome member because he's not visual wise. But when he has a microphone in his hand, he just like does something. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> Shotgun, like I need Shotgun. <sighs> I miss him. I follow him on Instagram, and every time I see him post, I'm like, I miss you, please come back to me. But I think that those are like my major kind of things that I choose. Oh, and choreography. Choreography is very important to me as well because if your choreography is just like very, very simple, then I'm not really going to be that impressed. And I talk about choreography a lot, and I talk about line distribution a lot, and those two things are very important to me as well. Um, if your line distribution sucks, I just can't support your group. I just, it annoys me. I don't care how great this one member is, they should have gone solo if they're that great that they need to sing the entire song by themselves. Those are kind of the ways that I rank my groups and um, when it comes time to reorganize my groups, which I do every so often, um, I'll look at the list and be like, is this still accurate? Like after a huge round of comebacks happen, because I always want to do my top videos like in the summer, but the summer is the busiest time for K-pop groups, so it's really hard for me to be like, oh, I want to do this in the summer because then everybody will have a comeback and I'll be like, oh. That's why Lovelies and Red Velvet switch so much because my girl group list is a lot more sensitive to changes. They'll both release an album and I'll be like, well, I like Red Velvet's more, so Red Velvet should be third place and not Lovelies. But now Lovelies, I like their new single, so I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe Lovelies should be third. But <laughs> it's one of those things that you can't just like go off of one thing. Like for me, ranking groups is some very big project thing and it's not, I can't just throw them all over the place because I'm like, uh, I don't want to be supporting this group if I actually like this group a lot more. And that's why, um, in my, uh, favorite albums of the year video, I was like, I'm not so sure if Icon is in the same spot anymore because I didn't like their album and the music is always the most important thing to me. <laughs> always, 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 always. I can't go off of anything else, really. When it comes down to it, I can't go off anything else. I hope this video helped a little bit. Um, if you have any other suggestions for this segment, please leave them down below. I would love to hear your suggestions. Otherwise, um, 
I can answer any questions if you want, leave them in the, uh, the comment section and I will definitely read through those and reply to as many as I possibly can and I will see you guys very very soon. Bye!